How to know when and how to emit your required emotional vibrations, part 2. Hi, let us come back to where we left off, to our four perspectives. The first perspective. You really wanted the job, but as soon as your meditation and dreaming ended, your consciousness came back to the real world and suddenly you felt the lack, the void of what you wanted. This feeling and the thought process associated with it, triggers the opposite vibration from you, and you end up attracting the opposite or repelling what you actually wanted. The second perspective. You really wanted the dream job. And as soon as you came out from your thought-induced dream state, into the real world, you continue to vibrate in accordance with the mood that you derived by dreaming. But your general and more powerful vibration of wanting a blissful life, makes the higher intelligence of the universe which governs all the laws, to supersede the vibrations emitted off your desire for that job, as it will hamper your main goal of a blissful life forever. The universe in line with your actual emotions knows better. So please emote and vibrate judiciously, because even if the universe is a higher intelligence, it works in lieu with your overall, and longest vibratory graphs resulted from your nature of emoting. The third perspective. You want the job, and when you come back to the real world, after using the law of attraction and living that life in your dreams, out of a sense of insecurity, you start to develop apprehensions about the so-called dream job. Now your mind emotes and vibrates in dilemma. So true to its attributes the universe ends up in manifesting what you truthfully vibrate, what you vibrate from the depths of your hearts. In dilemma it may be attracting the unwanted and repelling the wanted or vice versa. And now. The fourth perspective. The fourth perspective is the one that you knew all along the way. The fourth perspective is when the vibrations and graph of you wanting the job matches with the higher vibrations and graph of your native desire for a blissful life. This is where the vibrational frequencies match. And when all your vibrational frequencies match, when frequencies of the petty things that you envisaged, matches with your larger consciousness of bliss, you start to easily manifest miracles. Life unexpectedly becomes the chessboard, where you depute your own fate as mere pawns and players. So from now on try to pay heed not just to the vibrations but to the frequencies at what you vibrate to. Next week let us meet with vibrating similar frequencies throughout our virtual wishboard. Till then take care and may the physical laws, or God bless us all. Thank you for watching.